Hey everybody, welcome back to Tense Tinker Time. Today we are going to do two diamond painting reviews or post reviews, both of them Diamond Art Club. Um, and there's a smaller one and then there's a bigger one. So let's go ahead and start with the bigger one because it's the older one. So I will show you this. It took me a while um, to complete this one, but we had, you know, Christmas and everything in between. So it got a little pulled away for a while. But I got this one finished sometime last week. Let me get this out of the way. And it, you won't be able to see the whole thing on my desk. Um, my table is not big enough. So we'll roll it out and um, so you can see the pieces of it here. This. So this one is called A Space, um, Space for Reflection and it's by Chuck, Chuck Pynchon and the size is 29.1 inch by 21.7 inches or a 74 by 55 centimeter and of course Diamond Art Club and there was two AB colors in this painting there was um, like this white color which you can see up here this um and then um, this orange color here in the trees and this one I actually um, this was the one I did the unboxing for it here on the channel I will put that in the description box below if you want to check out the unboxing and what it looked like before but this one I did purchase at Hobby Lobby and I use a 40% off coupon Hobby Lobby always has and I believe the original price was like $50 or $55 so I got 40% off of that so it was a really good deal and we loved the picture so we just couldn't pass it up so I'll scooch this over here now I did um, one other painting before this from Diamond Art Club that I actually purchased off their website the only thing that I can say as far as like the difference the quality is the same canvas quality and everything is the same the drills I had a little bit more of like what we consider like a trash drill or like where it has like little bits of other stuff in it or like little bits of plastic in with the drills I had more of that with this canvas painting than I did with the other one that I purchased directly off the website. Now I don't know if that has anything to do with because this one came from the store and the other one was purchased on the website or not. Um, it could be maybe if they were trying to produce these a little bit quicker so they could have enough stock to send out to the stores for Hobby Lobby to carry them. I don't know. Um, but that was just a thought that I had. That was the only thing with this one that was really a different, that was different was um, it was a little bit cheaper because I could use a coupon. I didn't have to pay the shipping and I had it right then. Um, and then the drill quality, but everything else was good. I mean, it was nice and sticky and the drills themselves were fine. It was just a little bit of, um, the little trash drills here and there. So there's that part, but it turned out super pretty and I'm pleased with that. But I love this with the little ducks down here. But I think it turned out great. I didn't have any problems with anything else. Um, the Hobby Lobby. It did take me a while to finish. A few months maybe. But I didn't work on it very diligently for a while. So I can't really take that into effect. And it is a bigger painting than other ones I've done. Um, the other Diamond Art Club one I did was a very similar in size. It was 56 by 74 centimeter. This one's 74 by 55. So they were pretty much the same size. Got a hair on it. And I'll post a picture here. Um, and I also post it on my Instagram if you want to go follow me there. But I'll post a picture here of the whole thing so you can see what the finished product looks like and I had plenty plenty of drills left over here I'll lay these out for you 
these are all of the leftover drills that I had. Plus these ones. So some of them I already moved um, to bags for storage to store my extras. These ones I already had. So I'm going to add these containers to baggies that I already had extras of. But I mean, plenty of drills. I didn't worry about that at all. That is not a concern. The other one I did with Diamond Art Club was not a concern uh, for running out of drills either. So if you get from them, I wouldn't be... I think this purple color was the one that I had the least of, but it was the one I used the least in the painting itself. So I didn't need very, very many of that to begin with. This one was also pretty low, but there was very few of those in the painting. Um, but these colors that use a lot of like the gray, I mean, I have so many gray left, um, this other gray color. So plenty of drills, plenty of extras. So that is not something that you should ever have to worry about. And the very good quality, I mean, they're not bad quality or anything. I just found a little bit more trash in these, but, um, with a, a lot of quantity that happens and that doesn't bother me at all. I just pick it out here and there when it comes about and move on. So there's that painting. We'll get all these out of the way. Very beautiful painting. And I believe this one you can still order on the website, but I have seen it in other Hobby Lobbies I've been to as well. Um, so if you have a Hobby Lobby nearby, I don't know if you can purchase them online with Hobby Lobby yet. I haven't tried that. But I will look on the website as well and I will link, um, if they still have this one on Diamond Art Club website, I'll link that below for you as well if you're interested in purchasing this one. So let me go ahead and I will roll this one up here and we'll take a look at the other one. Um, the other one I just did an unboxing for, so it's fairly new, but it's a smaller painting, so it did not take very long to finish. Are you ready? He's super cute. I'll put it sideways so you can see the whole thing. So this one is Hipster Boston Terrier, and it is a 16 inch by 19 inch or 41 by 48 centimeter. And the artist is Marilyn Kazanov, of course, Diamond Art Club, um, 18 colors on this one. And the only one AB, which is the white. So all of the white is AB and really with a small one like this, cause it's only a partial. So this is not diamond painted just the dog um, and his bow and his glasses. With a small painting like this, I think one AB color is perfectly fine. And you don't get that everywhere anyway. So it's cool that Diamond Art Club does do that. So let me scooch him up here. Isn't he adorable? This one is a gift. I'm going to frame it um, and give it to someone as a gift. So I will show that um, once it's all framed. Same with this one, no issues with the drills, no issues with the canvas or the stickiness or anything like that. So I don't perceive that that would ever be an issue with Diamond Art Club, but if you ever come across it, I mean, contact them. From what I've seen, it's easy, really easy to work with, with them. And again, plenty of leftover drills. So that was not a concern at all. Plenty. Plenty of extras. Those are just a few. But I had extra of every color and that none of them were very low. So not close to being out or anything. This was an extra container. So not a concern at all with this. Um, this one is currently sold out because I just did the unboxing and I seen it there was sold out. Um, but when it does come back in stock, it does look like they are planning on bringing it back. It's only $20. So for a beginner or you need a break from all the big ones or something, um, this is a very good one. 
They have other ones too that are just partials. So there are other options, but I just had to have this one. He's so cute. And this was a really fun to work on. It was a nice quick one to break up the two bigger ones that I've done. And the next one I'm doing is very big. And you'll have to follow me, um, keep me on Instagram. Or I do have a Facebook group, so both of those are in the description. And I do post updates of my current works in progress, or whips as we call them. Um, so I do update there, so definitely follow me on there so you can follow the next project that I'm working on. Because it will be a while before I do any kind of <laughs> review or anything on that one. Um, it's quite large, so that one will take me a while to do. I'm going to work on the Minion. The Minion Love. Which there's an unboxing for that as well. So, I mean, these pretty quick, very nice. Um, great quality canvas, no concerns there. Just super shiny love the drills and everything so if you definitely can especially with a small one if you're kind of like me where I mean diamond art club can get pretty pricey for just one diamond painting you're like oh gosh I don't want to spend you know 40 plus dollars on a big huge canvas these ones are great these are I mean they're 20 dollars which is still if you've been buying diamond paintings other places but give it a try. Get one of the smaller ones, one of the $20 ones, and just see the difference from this to some of the other ones that you can get on like Amazon or wherever you, you know, Wish or AliExpress, whatever you shop on. Um, the quality makes the difference. There really is a big, huge difference between this. Now, there are other companies I'd like to try out, like um, DIY Moon Shop is one that I've heard of. Here, I got some gunk on here. About to get that out of here. Um, but DIY Moon Shop is another one that I have heard of, and I would like to try them. But they're kind of like Diamond Art Club. But it's because they pay their artists. They give them credit for their art with every piece that they sell, which is awesome. So it was a quick one today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you can. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the paintings. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.